I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant, and this is The Other Side of the Dash. Hey beautiful people, welcome back. If you are new here, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified of any videos that come out. Well you guys, it's 2023. Happy New Year. I know you guys haven't seen me in a while, but I'm back doing more videos and being more active on this channel. This is not going to be a very long video. I just wanted to come on and tell you guys Happy New Year. I am going to be doing a life update video here in the very near future so you guys can see uh, what's been going on with me and my family and, and things, all things that are Yolanda and other side of the dash. So look for that video coming soon. But I just wanted to get on and tell you guys Happy New Year. And you guys know with the new year comes new goals and new dreams and so on. And I am praying that so far the year has started off well for you and that you're well on your way to those dreams and to those goals. So as for me, it was a very low key Christmas and actually a very low key new year. So we didn't do a whole lot this holiday season except for decorating. So you guys know or if you know me, you know that usually by November 1st, my decorations are up. We don't celebrate Halloween, so November 1st, my decorations are up. That didn't happen this year. I got a late start. I think I didn't get my tree and my village up until our anniversary, and I'll talk about that in the life update, but it was just all late. Everything just came out late. Now, things were out of the attic by November 1st. But your girl here was just so exhausted, so just burnt with taking a little bit to her practice. She's in basketball now, and we'll talk about that again in the life update, doing that. And uh, we were down to one car. My husband is working on getting his car fixed. His engine went out. So taking him to work, which is way out in Timbuktu, and then, you know, being soccer, basketball mom, whatever, running errands and doing things and now I am a part of uh, the ministry at my church, so it's just been very, very uh, overwhelming, and I just needed to rest. So, as you guys know, we do normally take about two and a half weeks off from doing any kind of vlogging, content creation, and so on. And right now, as I'm recording this, our church is in our, what we call a solemn assembly, where we fast for a week, we're fasting, and then we're also using a, an or not using, but uh, refraining from doing something that we just normally do or we like to do that takes our time and attention. And for me, that's social media. Not necessarily that I'm, <clears throat> not necessarily that I am on social media doing, you know, just wasting time. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. We'll talk about this cold again too in the in the, the life update that won't go away. But uh, not wasting time, but doing posting. I've been posting stuff for my clients and it's just been a lot. So I've given up social media. So I have not been on social media for about a week now. And it's very hard, you guys, because when I go on, I go on, I belong to several groups. One is my community group. So I don't know what's going on in my community because I haven't been on the Facebook page. You guys, uh, I have my soil sisters, well, my gardening group. I want to get on and, and talk to them and tell them what's going on with my garden, but can't talk to them. I have a decorating. I have so many things, many groups that I belong to uh, because, you know, right now it's the community that I have. I'm currently trying to build a community, a, a physical community, but right now that's what, what I have. And I just, I can't talk to anybody. So um, it's been hard, but it's been doable. Now, one thing that's been hard with this fasting is I'll do good one day. The next day is like, mm, yesterday y'all, I just, I just said, forget it. <laughs> because I was so hungry. It was ridiculous, but um, I did good today. I'm doing good today and we have two more days left, so I think I can do it. Um, and so that's what's been going on with me. So we did participate in Vlogmas, if you guys know anything about that. Vlogmas is 
where you take the whole month of December and you record a video every single day. Now, many creator content creators, they only post a video maybe once a week, once a month, once every two weeks or whatever. We do it on our other channel, Brian Family Values, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so the challenge for us was to do it every single day and try to have some meaning, meaningful content. And all of it, I'm just gonna be honest with you. A lot of people will do it from, from December 1st to December 31st. And a lot will do it from December 1st up until Christmas. And we did it up until Christmas. And that's a lot, you guys, trying to, while you're in the hustle, bustle, hustle and bustle of the holiday season and trying to record every single day. Um, it's a challenge, but we did it. So we took a break from that, but we're back, we're back. And I'm glad we're back. We've got a lot of new content coming. And um, so stay tuned for that on Bryant Family Values. And stay tuned on other side of the dash right here. And I am going to be rebooting the podcast. Because I have been on vacay with the podcast as well. So stay tuned for that. All the links will be linked below in the description box. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to come on and say Happy New Year. To say I'm back. Um, got a lot of things to talk about. So I'm going back real quickly to my Christmas decorations. So when I finally got them up, everything was going fine. And then we put our uh, village on these little white, long white party tables. I call them party tables. They're the folding tables. And one day, one of the tables just decided to buckle and my village just said splat. But luckily, only a few pieces were damaged. It was nothing that uh, a little hot glue couldn't fix. So I'm okay with that. I keep saying that I'm not gonna put my village up next year next year next year but i keep buying stuff so that's why it keeps going up but i need to stop at some point because uh as it stands now i'm gonna need to get another table next year to fit what i got this year and then what i'm gonna probably buy you know this holiday season so as we do every year we did our new year's eve mukbang wait what did i have what do we have for dinner for christmas Y'all, I don't even remember what we had for dinner for Christmas. Oh, so Christmas, we, we, we've adopted this tradition of only having like finger foods, hors d'oeuvres, and things like that. So that's all we had for Christmas. For New Year's, we had our traditional seafood mukbang. And for New Year's Day, we had our seafood. And I'm telling y'all, I am so seafood. I, seafood, well, it was my favorite food until this. Y'all, we had so many. It, it was just... It was a mukbang and then turned around and had gumbo, seafood gumbo. So I'm just so seafood out. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what I can do for New Year's, because I think we're going to keep our, our New Year's Eve buck, mukbang because we enjoy that. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions for New Year's Day, and please no chitlins, chitterlings, or however y'all say them, those nasty things, uh, or... Black Eyed Peas. Uh, any other suggestions? Maybe I'm thinking maybe a Mexican theme or something like that. Uh, we just, we're, so for Thanksgiving, we finally had a turkey. You guys know, if you guys been following me for a while on this channel or the other channels, you know we have not had turkey for ages. We just wanted to bust out of that traditional turkey every year. But we finally had turkey this Thanksgiving. But um, I want a different thing from New Year's Day. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Put them in the contact. Uh, put them in the put them in the description box below or contact me through one of the social media outlets or email me and let me know if you guys have suggestions on what we can do for New Year's Day that is not involving seafood because we are getting sick of it. <laughs> so of course, New Year's is a time when we set new goals, maybe goals that we didn't achieve in the previous year or just something totally different. So I have been goal planning for the last two, three weeks. So I'm not gonna reveal that. I will say some of that, uh, save some of that for the uh, life update. But I did finish the Bible challenge. If you guys remember, I was doing the Bible in a year challenge. I did finish that right before our anniversary, which is November the 19th. So I finished that and I'll talk more about our anniversary in the life update. Um, and now I'm starting again. I started again on the first. So I, 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 you might be thinking, why, why are you doing it again if you already read the Bible? What I'm finding is, I've been actually having a lot of fun with the Bible. What I'm finding is that 
when you go through and you and you know this life is like this when you go through and read something or you go through and do something or let's say you drive through a scenic route on your way home or whatever the case may be and you do it again and again and one day you're like wait a minute i never knew that was there you've been going that way all along and it's been there you just didn't notice it so what i'm finding with the bible is as i'm going back and reading is that um some things that i didn't maybe notice some things maybe I didn't understand that I now understand. And so after I finished the challenge in November, what I started doing was taking my pastor's sermons and taking the, the scripture that he was giving during those sermons and going back and studying the Bible that way until the first of the year. So I'm just finding a lot of new things, uh, discovering a lot of new things. And it's just, it's just like, wow, you know, so I'm doing it again and I'll probably do it again next year and, and we'll see, you know, you can't read the Bible too many times. I know people who read their favorite novel over and over again. So, um, it's, it, it's, it's a good thing. So I've been doing that and y'all let's talk about this weather. Now, no matter where you live, everybody says, Oh, this, this weather here in insert, whatever state you're in is whatever. But Texas weather is, has ADD. ADHD, ADAD, whatever you want to call it, because you guys, it was 85 degrees yesterday. Now here we are in January, almost mid-January. It was 85 degrees, and today the high is, right now it's, it's 53 degrees, y'all. So I'm sure it's happening everywhere because I know on one coast it's raining and causing a lot of damage, and on the other coast it's snowing and just just misery. So, you know, wherever you are, I wish you safety and uh, pray that summer comes <laughs> and, and it's, that it's not too hot because, you know, we're like, okay, I can't wait till summer gets here and then it's too hot. And then we're like, I can't wait till winter gets here and it's too cold and it's, and it's damning because, you know, there's accidents, there's uh, catastrophes and so on. And I say that because we don't have fall and, and spring anymore. I don't know where you are, but all the states that I've lived in recently, we don't have fall and spring. So, you know, I just say winter and summer. That's what we have, winter and summer. Too cold, too hot. It's, you know, you might get a week or two of in between, but that's about it. So, um, Mother Nature has ADD, but, you know, we know God controls that. So, his will is his will. So, <laughs> I'll just leave that at that. Speaking of the weather, you guys. My heart is so broken right now. So you guys know that I have a garden and each year my garden gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, you guys, taking cues from this ADD weather we have here in North Texas. So the last few years we've been here, we get our frost in February. It's usually the first big frost and the first last frost in February. Y'all, why do we get our frost? Was it November or the end of November or the beginning of December? I don't remember exactly when we were the last couple months. Actually, no, it was last month because it got below, it was at 10, we were at 10, 10 degrees here in Texas, North Texas, 10 degrees. And it feels like it was below zero. Y'all, I covered up my garden. It didn't do any, everything in my garden is just, it's just ruined. I'll put a clip here so you guys can see um, what it looks like. It's just so damaging. It's heart, heartache, heartbreaking. And um, I was talking to my soil sisters before we went on this fast and they, about my, my blackberry bush. And they said that the blackberry bush should come back. And I'm hoping so because those take years to, you know, before you actually, you know, get your fruit off of it. And then my asparagus, I'm almost sure it's dead because when that takes years also, my, y'all remember my, I was proud of my mango plant and maybe y'all don't remember, maybe I didn't even post it on here and I'll cover that in my uh, life update, but I had a mango plant, those take years. My lemon plants take years, uh, avocado plants, I lost everything. Um, the only thing that I have left, look, look, even in the freeze last year, my rosemary did not die. My rosemary died this year. Now what stayed alive, the only thing that stayed alive was my thyme and my sage. All my basil died. Now I put the strawberry plant in the greenhouse and it was looking good for a while, but I went out to this morning, she's just about dead. So cabbage, 
is supposed to be, you know, susceptible to the winter weather. All of them rotted. My colleague, y'all remember that plant I had for two years, the Brussels sprouts plant? Y'all, that died too. Everything rotted out. Everything just died. So I'm just devastated. So every year I pick a goal, a big goal of what I'm going to do in our house. So <laughs> sad to say, 2022's goal didn't get completed. However, it's not that we didn't work on it. So we started painting that wall that I told you guys about the feature wall in the family room or in the, yeah, in the family room. And, uh, we got it mostly. We didn't get to the top because we still have to buy a, a ladder to get all the way to the very top. And as I'm looking at this for the last month or two, and Greg was like, I knew you were going to do that. I'm looking at the color. The color is software, but when I saw the color in the magazine, it doesn't look like the same color that's on the wall. The, the color in the magazine had a gray hue to it. It's a gray paint, but it had a gray hue to it. Whereas what came out on my wall is a gray paint with a blue hue. And I don't want that because if you guys followed us before in our old house back in North Carolina, we had gray paints with blue hues and blue paint paint. I did not want that. I wanted a, a gray dark but not too dark gray paint so uh, and i'll insert a picture here so you guys can see what i'm talking about so i'm going to go back to the drawing board and pick a different color for that we also bought 3d tiles to put on the wall i got two up and y'all i like them and we wanted to go all the way up to the ceiling with them however i saw something on a uh a DIY channel that I want to try and I'm afraid to tell my husband because he's gonna be like oh my goodness this girl cannot make up her mind it's where they get the, 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 the two by fours or the long ones and just do the wood the wood designs on the wall and just paint over them because that wall is huge and trying to cut and get the 3d tiles up there it's gonna be a pain so I'm thinking about just saving the 3d tiles for another wall for another project and repaint that wall but first put the, the the wood the wood pieces up and then repaint that wall the color a color that i'm going to be happy with you know as i sit and look at it because i've been sitting and looking at this software paint i don't like it and the more and more i see it i don't like it so it's going to get changed when it's going to get changed i don't know we did get the fireplace now what i wanted initially was a fireplace to make an insert so we got like a, it looks like a gas fireplace, but it's not. It's one of the longs with the rocks. It's just an electric one. And I wanted to enclose that area going all the way up the wall. But the person we had initially contacted to do this whole project for us um, said that would be a lot of work. And we just basically fell out of contact. We have not heard from him, which is fine. We ended up paying ourselves and we put the fireplace up. So that's nice. It's, it recesses like a TV does off the wall. And I like it. It's nice. It, it, it gives you heat. It, it heats up 400 square feet. So it's not too hot for us only because all that area is open. That's more than 400 feet. But sitting in front of it, it it's a real nice thing to have, especially in the wintertime. So I'm thinking about doing the wood wall and then do a boxing in. And the reason why I'm do, thinking about doing the boxing, and you guys forgive me if I'm not saying it correctly. Look, I'm no, no, uh, look contractor or whatever you want to call it but um the reason why i want that recessed in and and um y'all i'm gonna put an example in here so i can stop stumbling over my words so you guys know what i'm talking about the reason i want to do this is because i want to put built-ins on each side of the wall now initially i wanted to go to to ikea and just get some shelvings with some glass and some shelves no nice shelves to go on each side however I was watching a fellow content creator, I think her name was Kyra Knox, and she just bought a new house, and they just had built-ins. Y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that was. They just had built-ins put in, but they're, they're not your, your typical built-ins. If I can find a picture to put in here, I'll put in them, but they're bookshelves, but they don't go straight across. So here you might have a shelf that comes, so here's the, the end, have a shelf that comes here, and then it staggers, you 
have half a shelf coming out here and so on up the wall. And I was looking at that. I'm like, oh, I would love that. So look, I keep telling Mr. Brian, I need that saw because he's going to come home and the whole house is just going to be, and he's going to, he's going to be like, you hired somebody to do this. You paid all this money. And I'm going to be like, nope, I did it myself. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking to do. And I, I went too far into that than I wanted to. Again, I will be talking about this on uh, the life update. So I went a little bit too far into that than I wanted to. Like I said, I'll be talking more about this on the life update. I wanted this to be a short video. I don't know if that's, if I succeeded with that, but, um, again, I'll be updating what's been going on since I don't think I've talked, I don't even know when I talked to you guys last. So I'll find out when I talk to you guys last and I'll carry it on from that. So it might be a new video. I'll try to break it off into chapters. So, you know, you guys can take bite sized pieces, but anyway, I just wanted to come on and see how you guys are doing and tell you guys that uh, I'm back. So look for me. And before I go, I have to tell you that 2 Corinthians 5.14 says that any man who is in Jesus is a new creature. Old things are passed away and everything is new. So happy new year. With that being said, I will talk to you guys in the next video.